welcome back to my channel today i'll be completing the war bander journal cover so let's begin arts work fly I started out by painting the inside of the journal cover and that's pretty boring so I skipped that part out. Then I measured the cloth using the binder. I used the pencil to mark where I want to cut off. I got this cloth from an old lampshade and it's perfect for my journal theme. After cutting the size and shape that I wanted, I used the hot glue to stick that part down. Try to not be messy with the hot glue and with this butterfly here I was just playing around to see where I wanted it to be. I did the same thing to the other side. Mark, cut, then glue. I didn't have enough cloth so I used the what left. Then I trimmed the edges. I then tucked a piece of paper inside the pocket so that I could use the glitter glue without messing up the other side. Here is where I finally decided to put the butterfly. I have these two butterflies for approximately 7 years and I really wanted to use them. I hot glued some gems on it. The glitter glue was taking a very long time to dry so I had to use the blow dryer. I didn't like the edges that much. Here is how the butterflies look, top and the bottom. I hot glued some gold tape in the center and I put some gems on it. When I was done with the inside, I proceeded to paint the back part of the journal. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted. I was just using the references on the phone to put colors randomly on the back part of the cover. One more thing that I have to mention for the papers inside the pockets, please remember to remove it before the glue completely dries. If you're still watching this and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, share, comment and hit the bell so you can always know when I upload. For my new subscribers here, thank you very much for subscribing. At this point here, I decided to use a spiral instead of doing it randomly. And I was very anxious to do the splattering technique, it's the best part, so I went ahead and do it before I was completely done with the back part of it. Based on the image, I was adding some bright stars to the background, but I did not like them, so eventually I took them out. Beside me is my daughter showing me what to take out. Basically, for the rest of the painting, I used my fingers to kind of get this um, faded look or misty look. I didn't want to overpower it with too much colors because I wanted to do something with the back but I was not sure as yet. I just knew I wanted more dark areas than colored areas. The splattering technique was done three different times. And this is the end result of the back part of the journal. I went ahead and added some gems. I eventually went back to the inside of the journal and used the lace, the silver lace that I had to go around the pockets. I spray painted it gold. I was very doubtful using the lace but it turned out to be much better than I thought. I used the hot glue to hold it in place. To how much I liked the lace, I even went ahead and put some on the front where I had the first glitter glue and even on the side okay so this is how the journal looks now top part the bottom at the back the side the other side and inside. I wanted the back to complement what was at the front so I was playing around with the butterflies and the gold lace to see what can be done. I knew I didn't want too much at the back because that part would be resting on tables and ground etc so I didn't want too much so I finally decided to use a big butterfly and the lace. And that's it. Alright guys, I'm back and the final results and let's reveal drum roll please and here it is. In oh, much 
better than I thought it would. The only thing I would change on the journal cover is the crown. So I think over time I'm going to change this crown. I, I want something more glamorous. And the words here, I need more spiral and so on in the words. For the time being, I'm just going to work with this and this. You guys will see what I change it to eventually. Oh, and for the inside, what I'm going to actually do is to put a paint in here and a paint in here. I'm glad I took my time to do this because it's exactly what I wanted it to be. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe and hit the bell so you can always know when I upload. Bye! Arthur Flash.